It has been 30 years since this moment that forever changed the people of Rwanda. I was home for Easter holiday in one morning. It was on Wednesday on April 7th, 1994. My brother came to my room and gave me the news that the president of the country was killed that night. The assassination triggered a nationwide genocide that lasted 100 days. Immaculate says she managed to survive hiding in a neighbor's bathroom, and it was during that time she turned to prayer. However, one time they came to search for us, and that is when I turned to God. Outside, there was a group of three to 400 people dressed in banana leaves, machetes, and they were searching a house of four bedrooms. So I thought my life was over. I saw them through the window of the bathroom. I saw that I thought my life was over. It was really the time I genuinely turn to God. According to the United Nations, more than half a million people were killed, including some of Immaculate's family. But she says she was able to find peace and learn to forgive through her faith. And Immaculate has spent the last three decades promoting this message. There is a lot we can never repair. There is a, we, we have caused other people. There is other things like you can never take away the pain you have caused. No one can bring me back, my father, my mom. But the people are forgiven. I truly forgive them. I also realize that they're human beings like me. Like I can cause pain and that person cause me pain. So I forgive them and really wishing them. Wishing them that they, they will, you know, they will just acknowledge the wrong they have done. 30 years later, the United Nations will mark the anniversary with different events through an interactive exhibition with the theme, Remember, Unite, Renew. And it will include testimonies of survivors.